for those of you who can't see what I'm holding, it is a box of Girl Scout routines. <laughs> Specifically a box of Thin Mints. Now, I don't know about you, I don't know if you've been to the store lately, but if you've been to Walmart, there's probably been some girls trying to sell you some boxes of Girl Scout cookies. And then, I don't know about you, I don't know how much you like cookies, but Thin Mints, man, Thin Mints are hard to resist. It is hard to resist a box of Thin Mints, especially when there's like, cute little girls who are asking you to buy them to help support the Girl Scout troop. And they're so good, they taste so good. So I have a really hard time resisting those Girl Scout cookies, especially the Thin Mints. Well, guess what? We all get, there's all things that all of us have trouble resisting. Sometimes, sometimes it's worse than just a box of cookies. Maybe we have to make decisions like, we want to have a snack before dinner even though we shouldn't. Or maybe somebody at school wants us to do something that we know we shouldn't do, but it sounds really fun. Or it could be lots of different things that, that are hard to resist. But guess what? And our Bible story today tells us that Jesus actually went through a time when he had to face some things that were hard to resist. It's called being tempted. <coughs> You ever been tempted to do something bad? Like, disobey your parents? No, you, you must be a really good kid. I think he's still tired. I think he's still waking up. He's still waking up? I know, we're all still waking up. It's okay. I'm going to tell you about our Bible story. So Jesus had been wandering around in the wilderness for like 40 days, and he didn't eat anything. He probably didn't get to sleep very much either. How do you think you would feel if you'd been wandering around? With no food. Sick. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think I feel sick too. So that's probably how Jesus was feeling, probably not the greatest. He was probably not having the best day of his life. And then the devil came and he started to tempt Jesus to do things that Jesus knew he shouldn't do. So I'm going to tell you how Jesus handled it. So first the devil was like, hey Jesus, you're the son of God. You've got like all sorts of magic powers. You can just tell that stone over there, be bread. And then you'd have something to eat. Why don't you do that? And Jesus, he remembered what it says in the Bible. And he told the devil, devil well, man cannot live on bread alone. Mm -hmm. And then the devil was like, hey, Jesus, let's go up on this big hill and look around. If you worship me instead of God, I'll give you all that stuff. Everything that you see around you can be yours. And you'll have fame and fortune. That might be tempting for some people. To have everything that you ever wanted. But Jesus, once again, he remember what it says in the Bible. And he said... Worship the Lord your God and serve him only, not the devil. And this kept happening. And every time the devil tempted Jesus, Jesus went back to what it says in the Bible to help him make the right decision. So, when you have a tough decision to make, when you're tempted to do something that you know you shouldn't do, even if it's something as simple as a box of Girl Scout cookies that you really don't need, you can open your Bible, and if you read your Bible, it will tell you what God wants you to do. And it will help you make the right decision when you have tough decisions to make. So if you've got a friend at school who wants you to do some bad things with them, you can pray, you can read your Bible, and help you be strong and make the right decision to not do that. Same thing. You know what the Bible says about obeying your parents when you get tempted to be to, to mouth off or be bad, the Bible says, honor your father and mother. So see, he's got the answer right there for you. So anytime any of us have a temptation, we're having a hard time resisting, something we know we really shouldn't be doing, but we really want to do it, can we all pray and open up our Bibles and see what God has to say about it and do what he wants us to do? So that's what we're going to practice during this month, though, this whole month of Lent, and, and always. But especially during this time, it's a good time to remember.
remind us to turn to our Bibles when we're having those tough times and we're being tempted by something to turn to, to turn to God. Cool? Can you do that? Can you turn to God with me right now and pray? Can we do that? Can you bow your head and pray with me? We're going to repeat after me, okay? All right, let's pray. Dear God, Whenever we face, Whenever we face a, tough choice, a tough choice, help us remember, help us remember to turn to our Bibles to, turn to, our Bibles, to learn the right thing to do. To learn the right thing to do. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.